Hi, this is Rachel from Gentle Frog. In today's video of custom QuickBooks training, I'm going to use QuickBooks Premier 2020 to show you how to look at your accounts receivable aging report and your customer balance summary. Really, what I want you to know how to do is to see who owes you money and how much money do they owe you. So we'll just look at a handful of ways to accomplish that. Let me start by going to reports at the top of my screen, and then I'll come down to customers and receivables. Over to the right, I'll click on AR Aging Summary. I can see that I have one customer, Rachel the customer. Rachel the customer owes $999 and it's not yet past due. Rachel the customer has $800 that is between 1 and 30 days past due. There's a total of $17.99 owed. This report is telling me how much is owed and how much is past due versus not due yet. This report doesn't tell me what was sold or how many invoices are in each of these buckets. If I wanted to know more, I can double click on the number and it'll show me a list of what else is happening. Another report I can generate if I want is I can come up to reports, I can go customers and receivables, and I can say AR aging detail. AR aging detail is real similar to what we just looked at. We can see, all right, here's our customer. Here's the invoices that are not yet past due. Here's the invoices that are between one and 30 days past due. By the way, if you wanted to have different intervals, if you said, oh, one to 30 is too big, I wanna see you know, chunks of 15 days, you can change the interval days to 15 and click refresh. And then you can see, oh, this one is between one and 15 days past due. If this isn't the report that really sings to you and makes, you know, makes your heart flutter, reports, customer and receivable, um, let's look at open invoices. So you can kind of see all these different reports. One more report that I think might be interesting to you and perhaps not so much for the sample file with just a couple of transactions. If you click on reports, you come down to customer and receivable and then over and down, I want average days to pay summary. When I click on this, it shows me on average, how long does it take my customer to pay me? So in the example of Rachel the customer, it takes an average of 31 days to get payment. This isn't helpful for you to think about, oh my gosh, Rachel, the customer is slow to pay. This is helpful because when you look at your past due report or your AR aging report, you'll be able to see, oh yeah, this person is coming up on that 30 day mark, but I bet the check's in the mail because they normally pay around now. So I wanted you to see this just in case it helped you know when to follow up with someone and when they're just habitually late, but you can kind of get a sense of what their patterns are. I hope this video was helpful for you. I wanted to show you a couple of different ways to kind of see who owes you and how much they owe you. There's certainly lots more ways to find this within QuickBooks, but the idea is just to introduce you to some stuff that perhaps you hadn't seen or some stuff that really made a lot of sense for you and that you would like better than whatever you're currently doing. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments box, to send me an email, or to schedule an appointment. Thank you so much and I'll chat with you soon.